war still continues in Ukraine, and as it does, Russia continues to lose more and more tanks and equipment. And they're doing so at a faster rate than replacements can be built. Unless things change, or the war ends, it's inevitable that they will eventually run out. And sure enough, Russian storage depots are shrinking. However, there's one that's actually been growing. That's the 1311th just outside Yekaterinburg. And why is that? And what might the impact be on Russia's time remaining before they finally run out of tanks? But first, real quick, our sponsor this week, making this video possible, HelloFresh. Have you ever had a question of what to do for dinner time and you're just running out of ideas? Well, HelloFresh has over 40 meals to choose from every week and they're delivered directly to your door with all the ingredients you need. Picky eaters in your family, HelloFresh has something for everyone with a wide range of cuisines to fit anyone's likes. Not a fan of the hassle of grocery shopping? HelloFresh can send you pre-portioned meals delivered to your doorstep. So again, no need to go to the grocery store. And all three of these things apply to me. And like I said before, I actually use it and I pay for it myself. And currently I still have three meals left sitting here in the refrigerator that I'm really looking forward to eating. Plus their add-ons are awesome. I don't have a picture left to take of the pretzel bites as I ate them real quick, but they were great and I've already got them in my cart for a future order. So HelloFresh really helps making mealtime decisions easy. So click my link in the description or use my code to get 16 free meals plus free dessert for life while your subscription is active. So go over and check them out. You'll definitely find something you'll like. The 1311th is a mystery. With Russia losing more and more tanks in the war in Ukraine, again at a faster rate than they can build replacements, you'd expect their storage bases to decline in tank numbers. And they have. Every single Russian storage base has declined, or at best stayed even. That is, except for the 1311th. It's actually grown, and grown pretty substantially in numbers of visible tanks. I've been buying satellite imagery of this base now for two years. In August 2022, there were 300 good tanks visible. March 2023, it increased to 400. October 2023, 550. And now the latest image I just got from a few days ago, the 20th of March 2024, there's 560. As you might have noticed, virtually all that gain has been from the southern section with the garages. Obviously, covered shelters and garages present the biggest challenge in knowing just how many vehicles might be at these different bases. And this base is the king of that. There's no x-ray vision or any way to see if there's any tanks inside of them. In total, there are 20 garages for storage. Each one of these fit 18 across and up to two deep. So 36 each, that makes a possible of 720 total tanks that could be concealed from view. While we can't know for sure which ones are full and which ones are empty, there are many clues that might give us some insight. First, the bottom left six have not seen their full array of tanks out in front of them for at least the past seven years, unlike every other grudge. Also, the winter images can reveal any track marks indicating vehicles have come or gone from them recently. With this, we can likely rule out at least two more. So this leaves 12, again times 36, giving 432 potential tanks not visible. The increase of 260 since 2022 then could imply a maximum of 172 more tanks here that we cannot see. If anything though, these unaccounted for tanks would actually further shorten how long Russia has left before they're gonna run out. If these 260 tanks were always there, just hidden from view until recently counted, then instead of having declined by almost 1,200 tanks over the last year, they declined by over 1,400. That means the time they have left goes from roughly three years to two and a half years. And also that's based on our last full count from six months ago. So now just two years remaining. Again, the obvious caveats apply. The rate of loss can and will vary in the future. Also, how many of these can be restored, etc. But beyond the possibility of tanks inside these garages, the more likely explanation for its growth is that this base is being used as a storage and refurbishment depot for tanks coming from eastern storage bases. Yekaterinburg is along the Trans-Siberian Railroad, and it's also a large transport and logistics hub. It's also the furthest western storage base along the route to Ukraine, which would make it a logical site for such work. As you see here, the 7024th is closer. However, it's right on the border with Ukraine and well within the range of Ukrainian weapons. And then the only other, the 22nd and by, is further north and out of the way. Now, like all storage bases, the 1311th has a maintenance section, but this base has always been a lot more active than the others, which further lends credence to the possibility of it being used as a hub for vehicles from Eastern bases. So if this is the case, there would be no change in the time remaining as these tanks would have already been counted at those bases previously. But either way, at the rate it's been going, Russia has, at best, two, maybe two and a half years left. Hopefully in the next month or so, as the weather clears up and more satellite imagery becomes available, we're gonna be able to do another count and get some better figures. 
And finally, for those watching, thanks for sticking around despite the lack of videos recently. March has been a real bad month, a lot of personal and family issues have taken a toll, then on top of that I've got real sick. And even now I've just barely regained my voice, as you might be able to tell. So thank you.